One of the quirks of Maine's border with New Hampshire is about the Naval Shipyard. Yeah, it's called the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. Even though the city of Portsmouth being in New Hampshire, the shipyard itself is actually in Maine. A Supreme Court ruling 22 years ago today settled a dispute between the two states, ruling that the boundary between Maine and New Hampshire runs down the middle of the Piscataqua River. The shipyard sits on Seavey's Island, which is on the north edge of the river. Officials in New Hampshire said they had documents showing the border was actually on the northern banks. That's the dotted line you can see there on the screen. But ultimately, the Supreme Court decided they weren't valid and an agreement from the 1970s would stand. The ruling had significant financial impacts, both for the state, which gets income tax revenue from employees there, and for the employees who have to pay it. New Center Maine's Chris Rose has more. By mid-afternoon, word was beginning to spread throughout the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard that the Supreme Court had sided with Maine. The news was hard to take for workers from New Hampshire who combined pay more than $5 million in income taxes to Maine every year. But it was especially hard to swallow for the workers who refused to pay those taxes on the belief that the Supreme Court would side with New Hampshire. I think it's going to... Uh it's going to set a lot of people back emotionally and financially because a lot of people owe thousands of dollars to the state of Maine and I think they're going to come after them with a vengeance. The boundary dispute over the shipyard has been going on for years. In recent battles, New Hampshire politicians lined up behind the workers and squared off against their counterparts in Maine. Today, they were very disappointed. It does seem to me uh, to be unfair that someone that lives in New Hampshire and works on federal property has to pay Maine income taxes and even their family members, their spouse, would also have to pay the taxes even though they didn't work in Maine either. Uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to the people that have worked on this issue for so long. Even though the shipyard is in Maine, it will still be called the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard. And that's just fine with Portsmouth Mayor Evelyn Sorrell. She just hopes this puts an end to the dispute. I just feel so very sorry because they have been fighting such a long time. And it has brought about a closure. And whether the people can accept that closure, it's going to be hot on them. Again, that was Chris Rose reporting in 2001. New Hampshire did appeal the decision, but those appeals have been rejected. Some employees at the shipyard had to pay thousands of dollars in back taxes to the state of Maine after the ruling.